In this segment, we will connect the host and target hardware and be ready to power on. Let's get started. First, we will set up the M2M -M hardware. Attach both of the 2.4 GHz antennas to the unit. If your M2M -M unit includes the 3G radio option, attach both of the 3G antennas to the connectors on either side of the unit, using the adapters included with the kit. Next, plug the user-supplied Ethernet cable into the switch. If you do not have access to a switch, you will need to manually move your Ethernet cable between your host computer and external internet port in order to change modes, so use of a switch is strongly recommended. Then you connect the USB hub device to the kit and plug the keyboard and mouse into the USB hub. If you do not have access to a USB hub device, then use one of the two USB to micro USB adapters included with the kit to connect your mouse to the micro USB host port on the kit. Connect your keyboard directly to the standard USB port. Next, attach the display to the primary micro HDMI port using a suitable cable. Plug in the power supply to the M2M unit. Note the green indicator light will turn on. On the attached monitor, you will see the Linux image booting on the M2M -M unit. After a few minutes, you will see several compelling graphical user interface demonstrations targeted at various use cases. You have now completed the hardware setup for the M2M -M unit. Now we will attach your host computer to get started. Connect your laptop to the office switch using the user supplied ethernet cable. Your M2M smart services kit is now fully assembled.